All right, what's up everyone to another video full speed on Paul since hey, we're coming back to the KLX 140 with just a little bit of an update on our 22 mil carb. I told you guys when we put it on, we just quite, we weren't quite happy in how this piece was mocking up, but we just wanted to get it on and get it dialed and get it running, which it ran absolutely great on our trip and it didn't give any issues, but I'm going to show you guys what the small issue is if we're being really picky, which we are. If you guys could see... There's technically, you could put this on that way. You can see there's a lot of a gap as far as look how much there is on top versus the bottom. No bueno, right? So you definitely want to go this way. But there is a little bit of a ridge still here on the bottom. But there's room to machine that. And uh, I think that's, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take our little air grinder or whatever you want to call it with the little buffer pad, and we're gonna clean this out and try to get that a little bit more level. That way it has a nice breathe hole here and it's flowing through instead of it causing turbulence and uh, having that little step in there is really no bueno. It is definitely a very close fit, which we've had this with all our 22 mil carburetors. This just, <clears throat> this just hasn't been an issue as far as this lining up. As far as it being close and hitting that seal and everything, that has been an issue. But, um, yes, this is something we want to address a little bit without sacrificing our seal here, which there's plenty there. So we're going to just take a little bit off and hopefully clean this up and, uh, we'll see what happens. All right. So here we go. We got this guy right here. And this guy, this one's a little worn down, but it, because it's worn, it fits in there pretty good. So we're going to work on the bottom, which we already have been a little bit. And actually, I would like to smooth this whole thing out to where this whole thing fits in here to kind of open up the diameter a little bit, which will, again, more airflow, the better. All right, we're going to try one of these instead. Um, these are a little bit more aggressive, but in past times I've used this, I noticed aluminum kind of clunks up to it really easily. Um, but we're going to give it a whirl. Definitely a more aggressive. All right, guys, we got it cleaned up as best as we can. You could look in here now. You know, we're not perfect. You can see we're a little bit off here, but you see how it widens on the bottom, which that's what's accepting the, the lip. It's getting rid of that lip on the carb. This top part actually overlaps a little bit of the outer side of the seal on the carb, but that's okay because the idea is that the air is going through. So you just don't want the air going through and then like hitting a, a lip or anything like that. It's going to free flow in here into this and then goes into your intake tube which actually gives a lot more open airflow um, so this is all going to be good more airflow is better for your engine that's the biggest thing with getting these klx 140ls or klx 140s in general to run good is good airflow they come super restricted with the exhaust and the carburetor and all that that's why bumping this thing up to a 22 mil on a stock 140 displacement is definitely the way to go i've seen guys to 26 mil and it just seems like it doesn't run good. They're always having issues with jetting, even though they'll claim right off the bat, oh yeah, that's great, you put the 26, I put the 26 on. And then you see like, I can't get the idle, I can't get the run good off the start, it's because it's too much carb. It's too, because it's too much carb for the bike. And uh, that's where this 22 comes in. It's just a great, um, great easy carb to install. And uh, just modifying this a little bit definitely helps you out too. So we're going to get this back together, give you guys a start up, a little rev up, and that's this video, guys. Oh, yeah. We'll let her warm up for a second. We'll give you guys some good revs. All right, guys, just a short video. I wanted to update you guys on a 22 mil carb. She's working great on this thing, running awesome. Do you have to do that to your 
adapter uh, intake, no. But it definitely doesn't hurt. And obviously, like I said before, better airflow, the better. That's all. That's what we're aiming for here. So I appreciate you guys watching and you guys know the deal. Until next time, we'll see you later.